Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. We're in Rockport, Texas at the channel that goes from Aransas Bay into Little Bay. The wind is about 13 miles an hour right now. It's Texas, so it's hot. We're about 25 miles north of Corpus Christi. Aransas Bay here leads out through the Barrier Islands and opens up into the Gulf of Mexico. It's going to be a good day. I'm trying to get things done this morning before it gets too hot. I think I'm going to uh, start off by cooking some grub. If I wait a little later, it's, it's just going to be too hot. I live in my F-150 with a Lear topper. I've been doing that for three and a half years. I don't know where, where those waves are coming from. <laughs> I wanted to say hello to my friends Mark and Cindy, like Mork and Mindy. Mark and Cindy, good morning. Roll my intro. <laughs> I think it's a little too choppy today for dolphins to be in the, the channel. And I know a lot of these smaller boats are heading out to the open water and realizing how rough it is out there and doing a U-turn and coming back in. I can hear a few coming and going right now. Boy, if there's one thing I hate, what I'm trying to spot dolphins is a boat of attractive females in bikinis. Little music there, we'll dub that out in a little bit. Boy, it was nice and quiet, now it's Grand Central through here. Four boats in a minute. It's a good day, guys. A lot of you people wonder why I live here in the summer when it's hot. I like it. I, I like the beach. I like the water. I kind of like women in bikinis. I really like food. Let's go cook some. So some things I already have. That's my stove and my uh, cooking food bag. I got my wind chimes. Wind chimes seem to scare away the seagulls. There's a piece of art by Haley. I have uh, my butane. I keep this cover on the butane and my extra can of butane. I keep anything that could explode from the heat in a plastic bag, try to contain it. I have many cans of these potatoes. So I'm starting the meal off with that. I picked up this uh, jalapeno and cheddar sausage, which I believe was about $4.34. And I picked up a one pound bag of broccoli and cauliflower frozen, which was a dollar. I have some generic Pam spray, good value from Walmart. Put a decent amount in there. And I'm just gonna use black pepper, garlic salt, and uh, some butter buds in there. See that chunk? That's butter buds. That's what humidity does to butter buds. But I'll stir it all up once things uh, start cooking. I'm not in a, in a hurry here. The sausage is already pre-cooked. I just want to brown it up a little bit. Kind of let the uh, moisture evaporate from cooking and then everything will start to brown up again. I'll even occasionally take that spray pan and just give the top a light coat to help things uh, brown up. Still no seagulls out there. 
Everyone else around here has food. They got seagulls. Could just be I'm a bad cook. But it's getting there, guys. Got it on a plate. That's a big portion of food. This is my brunch, I guess. And uh, reasonably healthy as far as eating sausage goes. I have a lot left. I only have one container, so that's going to give me a little bit of trouble. Need to pick up some more Tupperware. And then I have this, and honestly, I'm just going to wait a few minutes and eat that so I don't waste it. Have the rest for dinner. There are some rich people houses over there on Key Allegro. That's an island right off Rockport Beach. Lots of kayakers and paddle boarders out today as well. I have to warn you, if you're new to the channel, unsubscribe now. Because here comes a horrible dad joke. My belt got arrested last night. Yep. It got caught red-handed, holding up a pair of pants. I tried to warn you. It is a lot more crowded today, guys. Not 4th of July crowded, but... I do love the beach. There's a lot going on every day, and one of the main reasons why I stay in this area. You think everyone could get together and play the same station, but no. <laughs> Lots of people at the beach, guys. And this isn't even the crowded section. On the other side of the peninsula, that's where the people get stacked up. This is a thatch palm. They're native to Cambodia. And if you see one of these outside of Cambodia, it has been transplanted by hand. They were originally only found in Cambodia. I just made all that up, but doesn't that sound like it, it could happen? The circle here at Rockport Beach has been closed basically since a few days before the 4th of July. They had it open for a few days after the 4th, and I really miss it because of the shade. Believe it or not, there's shade over there even during the hottest times of the day. But that's where I usually see Eugene. Eugene is our friendly neighborhood blue heron. I see him and about 30 other blue herons. Good morning, boys. <clears throat> Wonder why that pole's empty and all the other ones are full. <laughs> What's wrong with that pole? That piling? I see a lot of egrets over there and just all kinds of wildlife. And it's a good place to go. It's not as crowded as the rest of the beach. But why did I pick Rockport even though it's hot here? The beach. I know where the restrooms are. I know where I can go to get a shower. I'm familiar with the laundromat. I have friends and family here. I know I have a support team if I need one. I've got really good friends here. I know where I can park. I know where I can nap. I know where I can sleep. And more importantly, compared to being out on the road, I know where not to park. I know where the bad elements are. I know where I can buy the groceries the cheapest and get gas the cheapest and where I can sleep without light shining on me but not be in a dangerous situation.
What did you do, Brian? You're looking pretty nervous. Just tell me what you did. I won't be mad. Probably crapped on a truck. Guys, <laughs> here comes a boat. It smells like barbecue and suntan lotion out here. It's a good day to be at the beach. Thanks for riding along today, guys. Say it with me. Ice cream cone. Thanks for watching.